he was really confused. He goes, I was trying to sleep and I woke up to something on my back. I realized it was a deer and I was just very confused because I, I'd never seen a deer actually jump through a windshield and then land. There's a video of it. This morning, an unexpected wake up call for these students in Virginia. <laughs> oh my God. We're just small town dudes with small town news. Breaking stories of crimes committed you never do. Mind your P's and Q's or they'll cover you. The town may be small, but the news is huge. All righty, you're going to like this one. You know, I kept asking you guys at the beginning of the show, have you ever hit a deer? Huh? I have. And this this one's pretty nuts. A deer crashes through a school bus windshield and lands on a sleeping student. He said, I was really confused. This is, this is in Virginia, the state for lovers and deer. Um, yeah, maybe, the, maybe he should have counted sheep instead. But this kid was asleep and a deer flew through the window and there's a video of it. This morning, an unexpected wake-up call for these students in Virginia. <laughs> oh my God! Small deer comes crashing through their school bus. For the student trying to sleep in the front row, it was nothing to fawn over. Fawn over. Get it. The deer appears to skim the bus's hood before obliterating wow. the windshield. Luckily, that student in the front row was in deep sleep, crouched down in his seat. It would have hit him in the chest. Or Crouching the tiger, or hidden so deer. Very lucky. He's very lucky. And he didn't even wake up. Good thing he was wearing his hood and his mask. The was able to open the door and the deer scurried off. <laughs> and the students shocked over what they just witnessed. Where do you come from? The deer ran off through a field nearby Dude, and seemed okay. Dude, this is insane. Now, deer, I think, are probably some of the dumbest animals ever. Yeah, I agree. I feel like, like they're trying to commit suicide. Like, they see these things like, if I'm going out, I'm going to go out. I'm going to mess up this road. And their car. And yeah. their car. I'm going to mess Taking all these dumb humans out with me. I'm going to make them pay some insurance money. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and this thing flies through that windshield like it was shot out of a cannon. And it's lucky that that kid, as you can see, he's crouched down behind. I mean, he's in the front seat, but there is like a back of a seat in front of him. That's like a, It's like a shield. Yeah. And he's laying, like he's leaned down like this and he's laying up against it. And, I mean, had he been standing or just sitting up straight, he'd probably taken his dang head off. First off, I'm, I'm glad they didn't have video when we were in school, in a school bus. Oh, I know. Jeez. Because we had high school students driving our school bus. Yes, we did. Uh, uh, Greg Martin was one of them. Was it named Greg Martin? Or what was I had his a, name? I had a, I had a dude a, who looked just like uh, the boss, Bruce Springsteen. Really? I forgot his last name. But he used to drive the bus, and he was like a year older than us or something. But he looked like he was 35. Yeah, and they got a, they got a credit for driving the bus, and they got to take the bus home with them. Yep. You remember that? Yep. Man. So this guy, he looks like an older fella, you know. I don't know. He's got glasses and a hat. Yeah. He's got his now, – now, I don't know if you're supposed to drive – that's not 10 and 2. You don't put your hands in the middle of the wind. <laughs> See, the steering wheel like that. It's going to be his fault. After everything's <laughs> said and done, it's the bus driver's fault probably. Have you? So you've not hit a deer, though. No, have you hit a deer? I hit a deer, and this is why I say this. I think they're the dumbest animals because I was driving. Uh, I think this was in West Virginia, and I was driving my Suzuki Sidekick. Oh yeah, love remember that, that thing. I remember that. Yeah. It's like a box kite. Yeah, flip me over. I, well, that car had been through a lot of stuff. <laughs> so I'm driving that thing. Was it or the truck? No, it was a Sidekick. Anyway, I'm driving along. I'm going at least 65. And I'm surrounded by trees. It's you know you're in the mountains. There's yeah. and out of nowhere, as if it were running for its life from something in the woods, a deer comes darting out, and it like as soon as it made it to the road, like I saw it, it saw me, and it's, it's like we made this eye contact, <laughs> and I <laughs> hit this deer. I hit the deer on the side like that, and I'm not joking. When I hit the deer, its head flopped like that and looked at Look. me. <laughs> and then it went down, and I ran over the deer. Oh, like a speed bump. Yeah. Yes. And blood went all over the windshield. 
Oh, no. And, I mean, there was – I'm not joking. When I hit this thing, it, it ruined the radiator in the front of the thing, and there was poop in the headlight. <laughs> Like, it, it hit it so hard, the poop came out. You knocked the Blood shit out the, of it. I knocked the shit, shit out, out of it. it. And I, my first instinct was not, oh, I hope, I'm so sorry. I was pissed off at the deer. Yeah. I got out and go like, what are you doing, you idiot? And it's, it's dead. I'm I mean, it screaming at the deer. Yeah. And I get back in my car. It barely, it barely starts. It's almost totaled. There's blood on the windshield. And so, I went to do the fluid thing. I'm yeah. out of fluid. They busted your fluid. Well, I just was out. I would have wiped the blood off. Yeah, I couldn't even clean the So was the, the deer windshield. dead? The deer died. So you didn't have to lay it. You didn't have to, like, put it out. It's no, misery. That's I, good. I killed the deer. You didn't have to, like, grab it and break its neck or nothing. No, I just did that anyway because I was pissed. Yeah. I went in and was like, you mother. <laughs> I just started beating the crap out of it. Yeah. Uh, no, I, I killed the deer. And I got back in the car. And I was like, I got to go to the nearest gas station. And I had to drive with my head out the window to see. That's great. Because there was blood everywhere. I was driving like this. Yeah. And I pull up this gas station. I remember this dude's pumping gas, and he sees me coming in, <laughs> leaning out with blood all over my car, pooping the headlight. I'm thinking, man, who don't think I murdered somebody, you know? But this dude, because I guess it was West Virginia, he just goes, Did you keep it? <laughs> Did you keep it? I'm like, oh, you're right. I hit, no, I, no, it's a mile up that way. Yeah. You can have it. Well, uh, but they they piss me off a lot of a lot. This is not the first time this has happened. Well, a lot of people a, die by hitting. It's deer. a wonder you killed the deer. They usually get up like this one did and run off after they totaled your car. <laughs> no, right? You know. So yeah, that is amazing that no one got hurt in this thing. I mean, no. it's amazing that that kid was ducked down. It's amazing that the the kid. I mean, the deer got up and ran out. How high is a school bus? I mean, that's eight feet. Yeah. So that deer. Yeah, that's it was definite. jumping. Like he probably Air didn't top. hit the deer with the the hood. I mean, it bounced he, off the hood, maybe. I think it jumped and it skimmed the top of the hood and slid it in, in the windshield. Yeah. Anyway, that's insane. Um, and just walks off. No, no worries. Busted a windshield. So if you do, you think you could go through a windshield and get up just be fine? <laughs> no, probably not. No way. But they're superhuman, I think. Yeah. They're super, hard-headed. Super dumb. Hard-headed. Good, it's also a good thing that deer didn't have antlers. I mean, that oh. was a young deer. What if that was a big buck? You know, that would have done a lot of damage. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so the deer scampered off, as we see, after the bus driver slowed down and opened the door. The 15-year-old kid, Brendan Martin of uh, Powhatan, I can't, Powhatan High School, he was not injured, but he was befuddled. He was really confused because I was trying to sleep and I woke up to something on my back. I realized it was a deer and I was just very confused because I... I'd never seen a deer actually jump through a windshield and then land. That's nothing you see every day. Yeah. No, no, most people haven't seen that, young Martin. Despite the crazy incident, um, Martin said he'll still look for his favorite seat at the front of the bus. Because he's the cool kid. Is that the cool kid at the front? No, not the when cool we were kid's young. at the back. Not when we were young. I mean, he seems like a cool kid. He, you know, he had a white hood, white mask. He looked like a snow ninja. He did. Yeah. Deer, I mean, snow ninjas are not afraid of deer. Oh. Yeah. I would imagine. It's like he knew it was coming. Yeah, he goes, there's no way it's going to happen twice. So he's going to sit in that same seat. Yeah. I, I don't blame him. That's good logic. <laughs> hey, it's me again. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you liked that. If you did, you, uh, you should check out the entire episode. It's a blast. And then if you're going to do that, you might as well subscribe. And then, you know, if you're going to subscribe, you might as well hit the notification bell. All right, and uh, and know that I love you. <laughs>